everyone, welcome back to Cuddy's Bookshelf. So I got a few questions asking the reading order of the Zodiac Academy and the whole Solaria universe. So this will be going through the order for Zodiac Academy, the Ruthless Boys and the Darkmoor Penitentiary plus novellas and which order I think that you should read them. So starting off, I think you should go in reading Zodiac's book one, two and three you will get like a build up of the world and everything i think this sets the whole series up really really well and you will know after reading these three if you will want to carry on with the series so these are the awakening ruthless fay and the reckoning and then after you finish those three you will take a detour into a completely different series, which is The Ruthless Boys of the Zodiac. These are a prequel series and these are five years before Zodiac Academy. The reason I suggest reading these after book three, but before book four, is because, like I say, book one, two and three set up the world really well. So it will make diving into these a lot easier. And then book four has a character that is from this series. So you will be spoiled if you haven't read this series yet if you carry on the zodiac without reading these first and in this it's a five book series the first one is dark fae the second one is savage fae the third one is vicious fae the fourth one is broken fae and the fifth one is warrior fae and look at the size of this book which just excited me even more because I didn't want that series to end. I thoroughly enjoyed The Ruthless Boys of the Zodiac. But after you have read all five of these and fell in love with the characters, <laughs> because you just do, with Suzanne Valenti and Caroline Peckham, I love the characters and the character development of these. this universe. It's so good. Afterwards, you will jump back in to Zodiac Academy and read book four. So this is Shadow Princess. And then <laughs> this one's going to hurt you a little bit. And then from this one, you will jump into two of the novellas. So you will want to read Origins of an Academy Bully and also The Awakening as Told by the Boys. So this is book one, but from the boys' point of view. But I highly recommend reading them both after book four so you don't get any spoilers within them and it's just the best time to read them so I highly recommend these two novellas after book four then you will go into book five of the Zodiac Academy and this one is Cursed Fates after the book five you will jump back into some more novellas so the first novella that you will jump into is the big ASS party um this is a really good little novella. And then you will jump into Seth on the Moon. If you buy Live and Let Lionel, this is full of short novellas. And one of them is Seth on the Moon. So if you jump in and just read that novella, don't read any of the others because spoilers. <laughs> Go in, read Seth on the Moon because it does get mentioned in further books in the Zodiac Academy. Then you will go back into the Zodiac Academy and you will read a whole chunk which is 6, 7, 8 and 8.5. So these are Fated Throne, Heartless Sky, Sorrow and Starlight and Beyond the Veil. There is a tandem read between these two that you can do but I wouldn't suggest it for first time readers. I think the tandem is better for people that's doing a reread of the series just because it does get not so much spoilery but I just think it's the best way to go and this is how it was brought out so I do recommend reading it in this order if it is your first time going through the series and then maybe join me in doing a tandem read because I haven't done the tandem read yet and I really want to read the whole Solari universe all over again and doing it in this reading order because it is the ultimate I think anyway then you will go back into Live and Let Lionel where you will read the rest of the novellas in this novella and last but not least in the Zodiac Academy series you will read the last book which is book nine and this is Restless Stars this oh, will leave you feeling certain ways and everything wraps up in this and oh my goodness I just love the Zodiac Academy series so much but don't be too disheartened because there is a sequel series which is Darkmoor Penitentiary and this is Caged Wolf, Alpha Wolf, 
Feral Wolf and Wild Wolf. And I'm currently reading Wild Wolf. I am like halfway through. I am trying to drag it out as long as possible because I don't want my time in Solaria to come to an end. It is killing me. I do feel like I'm gonna go all the way back to the beginning again because I will miss this world so much. I highly recommend. These are just as addictive. Like book three leaves you on such a cliffhanger that it you, oh, it hurts. So yes, that is the end of your time in Solaria and it is a sad time. <laughs> but you can always go back and read them again. But as I say, this is a huge commitment, but in my point of view, it is totally worth it. This is one of my favourite series, like, universes of all time. I can't tell you how gripped I was for all of these to the point where some of the Zodiac Academy books I remember reading and I was just saying on the phone to my mum, like, I don't get paid until such and such and I don't know what I'm going to do without reading the next one. And then my mum went out and bought me a few of them to tide me over until I got paid and I just love her so much for that. So thank you, mum. <laughs> Um, I love you dearly. I cannot recommend this universe enough. Yes, it's intimidating. That does sound confusing, but I will list all of my reading order in my description box. So you can, if you're watching this on your phone, you can go down there and give it a screenshot. And yeah, I hope that it helps. I really do. And I really hope that you pick it up and give it a try. Even if it's just the first three in the Zodiac Academy series, I think that that will really give you a good taste of what the rest will feel like and read like. I hope this video has encouraged you to pick it up and start it. Let me know your thoughts as you are reading it. I'm sorry if you don't like it, but I absolutely love it. I think it's there's something in these pages that makes it so addictive. So yeah, let me know all of the things. I hope this has helped. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more from me, please subscribe and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye! The ruthless boys of the Zodiac, if I can hold them up properly. That I've just dropped. Are you okay? He's okay, he's fine. I'm gonna go back into the Zodiac Academy. After this, you are gonna be severely damaged. <laughs> you will feel after this. <laughs> you will have a lot of feelings. You will jump in to the Zodiac. <clears throat> I am a massive fan of this series. I, well, these series is this universe. I cannot get enough of it. I wish they would go on forever, but the cliffhangers some of these books end on, you are so lucky if you're just starting them and you can literally read them one after the other because it's killed me waiting. This is... Uh, you will go into the big A-S-S -A part. Blah, 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 blah. So the first novella, novella? There is a prequel series. No, sequel series. If you have any... Whew, I'm out of breath. But don't get too disheartened because there is a sequel. Mm. And I do feel like I'm going to go right back. Right back. I will leave it in my description bottom. Description bottom? No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Subscription bottom. But I cannot like highly recommend some of them. I'm looking at you book seven. Is gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. I This series has made me cry multiple times. It has made me belly laugh multiple times. Like, oh, I just love it. I just love it so, so much. And yeah, I, I forgot what I was gonna say. I have no idea if I did that right. <laughs> Encourages you to pick it up. Oh, hello, group hug. I love you so much. I have been reading the physical copy when I'm at home of Wild Wolf, but then when I have been going to work and stuff, I have been getting them on my Kindle. So all of these books are on Kindle Unlimited. So just throwing that out there if you want to give it a go and, you know, it be free if you've got Kindle Unlimited. So I can remember on a work night out, and I was reading the Zodiac Academy 
and the books wouldn't fit in my bag because obviously it's a night out but I always like to carry a book with me even though I've got a Kindle app on my phone I still like to take a book with me no matter where I go it's like a comfort thing so we was on a work night out and I downloaded the Zodiac Academy book that I was currently reading onto my Kindle <laughs> and I was just sat reading my Kindle secretly it was it was yeah I got told off by one of my friends but I couldn't put it down I couldn't put it down so addictive honestly highly recommend if you couldn't tell you are so beautiful to me right I'm gonna slowly read some chapters I don't want it to be over let's put them back on the shelf put you back home I have my dreamy amethyst fairy looking after my Zodiac Academy books. <laughs> that and you need to heal your heart emotionally <laughs> with the crystal <laughs> when you're reading this series. I'm only gonna break, 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 break your heart. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs>